All right, today we're going to be replacing a spark plug harness over here. So um, you're going to need some tools. The first thing you're going to need is a five millimeter Allen wrench. That's going to be to take off the fuel switch here. And you're also going to need a ratchet with an eight millimeter socket and a minimum of a three inch extension, preferably four or six. Okay. Without taking everything off, what we're going to do is we're just going to focus solely on this. The one thing you will have to take off is the shroud. Okay, so there's four bolts here on the shroud. There's one over here, one on the right side, and then there's two in the bottom down here. Okay. For the sake of um, showing you how to do this, I have already loosened everything, so I'm just going to be taking it out by hand. Here, this one you're gonna to want to keep your finger close to it. I'm taking it out because uh, you can lose it into the machine. Just tap your finger. Okay, so once you have the shroud done, taking it off, um, this is already loosened. It's best to do this first, the five millimeter. Okay, you're gonna remove the shroud to the side. part we're going to do next is we're going to actually take out the spark plug whether it's broken or you're putting a new one in as you can see though it comes here it goes underneath behind some of this um, casing and right here and this is actually the whole unit it's the one unit you have to take off okay it's not just the wire itself so what we're going to do is we're going to start fishing this out okay we're going to loosen it here we're going to come underneath like this Okay, you're gonna pop right out right there. You're gonna pop this one out as well. And underneath there's a little, little place where it hooks in there. And now what you're gonna do is you're just gonna use your finger right here, push this forward, and just fish out like that. Okay? Now once you have it here, take off these two bolts. Okay. It's still gonna be eight millimeter socket. Then just go ahead and fish it through underneath. Just like that, and go between the two metal hinges there, okay? Once it's out, there it is. There's one last thing to unplug right here in the bottom. And it's it goes in like this. Right here, this is for the on and off switch, which is connected all the way through behind to this side and attached to that. So just pull off the rubber and then just wiggle off the actual and there you go you have your spark plug harness